To get to the section that has all of your apps, all you'll need to do is swipe up. Okay, now remember, to bring up the notification panel, we swiped down. To bring up our, our what is called our app drawer, we're gonna swipe up. And this is gonna take us to the list of every single app that is installed on your phone. And here you can select any one of the apps to open them and use them. And if you'd like to download a new app, you're gonna tap on this app, which is called the Play Store. The Play Store is where you download anything you would need for the phone. So apps, you can download games, you can download books. There's a large variety. It's a big store that has many different things that are you're available to use with the phone. Now, for some of you, when you tapped on that play button, it didn't take you to this screen. And if you don't see what I see on your screen, it means that you may not have signed into a Google account yet. And in that case, you'll see a pop-up on the screen that will say, Play sign into your Google account. If you have a Gmail, simply enter your information to sign in. If you don't, you should see a button in the left corner that's gonna say create a Google account and you'll simply tap on that button. It'll take you about two minutes and you can create a Google account that you can then use to access the store. You have to be signed into a Google account in order to access the store. So just small disclaimer for anyone who is not seeing what I'm seeing right now. Okay, so navigating the store is fairly easy. You'll find some tabs at the bottom here to jump to different categories. So games, apps, books, and then here is another row of, of sections. So for you, top charts, other devices, kids. So you can go through all these sections if you wanna just look around to see what type of uh, apps are available and find cool apps that you might like. Um, the other option is you might have come here and said, hey, there's a specific app that I want. I already know the name. I just need to search for it and download it. In that case, you'll want to start at the top of the screen where it says search apps and games. You can either tap in this box to bring up your keyboard and begin searching for that app. So for example, I could type in Uber and then I can hit the magnifying glass in the bottom right corner to search for the Uber app. And I've just found Uber, it's right here. I'm gonna tap on this blue install button. And, and just that easy, it's gonna start downloading Uber right to the phone. So super easy. Now one important note is that if this button next to the app is not blue, and or basically if it doesn't say install, if instead you see a price in that box, that is the store telling you that that is not a free app. It is a paid app. So I just want you to be aware of that. If you ever see a price, you need to be prepared to pay for that app. However, if it is free, it'll just say install. Then you'll tap it and it'll begin to download the app on the phone and it will install it for you. Okay. Now, here is a shortcut um, to do what we just did, but much faster. So let's say this time I wanna download Instacart because I wanna order groceries and have them delivered to my house. Instead of tapping in this box at the top, I'm gonna to tap on this microphone in the, in the upper right corner and I'm just gonna say the name of the app that I wanna download. So in this case, Instacart. So now we're using voice to text so or voice search. So we simply tap the microphone we set the app we wanted, Instacart came up, I'm gonna tap install, and just that easy, I found the app I want, and it's installing on the phone. Now, I'm gonna tap the home button to get back to our main screen, and then I'm gonna swipe up, because that app, once it downloads to the phone, it's gonna show up in alphabetical order in my app section, and here is our Instacart app we just downloaded, and if I swipe up, here is our Uber app that we just downloaded. So this is where you can find the app after you have downloaded it to the phone. That is the entire process of downloading an app. The same thing works if you wanna download a game. Maybe you want a slot machine game or a solitaire game. You would go right back to the Play Store, tap the microphone, say the name solitaire, or type it in the search, 
find one that you like, tap on it, download it, and that's it. So that is downloading. I also have a link below to this uh, cool Bluetooth speaker that will be also in the YouTube shopping cart right here. So if you're in the market for a new Bluetooth speaker, definitely check out this in the shopping cart. I also have um, that wall charger I mentioned as well. That'll just be, uh, will go with the cable you got in the box to make sure you can charge the phone properly. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.